just look back at your life right now and go, okay, I had a good run. Would it be filled with pride, happiness, or would it be filled with disappointment? And, oh, I wish I did that. As a child, I was always obsessed with joining the military. I always knew that was what I wanted to do. And as I finished my degree, Iraq and Iran, Afghanistan was all going on. And I got talked out of enlisting by my family because they didn't want to see me go to a war zone. And it's something that I have always regretted. I've had a very successful career off of the back of it after I went into corporate and I look back at my life and go well if I did join the military I'd have all these wonderful experiences I would have traveled the world I would have met amazing people but would I be the age that I am now with the money that I've got the lifestyle that I have and my husband and my son probably not so we can look back at our life and go, oh, the shoulda, coulda, wouldas are there. But it's always just an experience. It's always just a life. It's always just something that was done. It was done based on a choice that we made at that time. And when we make rash decisions and choices, it's something that we need to live with. There are some choices that we can go back and correct. We can always have the opportunity to retake exams, go back to school, re-qualify, have another life, have another innings, being a lawyer or a doctor or a nurse or something else. And then there are some changes that are definitely final. The ending of a relationship is usually final because the trust is usually gone. Deciding to move out of home your childhood home and never going back, that decision is usually final. The buying and selling of your car, you've usually got the car and unless you can't afford it, but when you sell it, it's gone. Bye. And then we're left in the process of change and flux. To accept the change and to get ready for it, it's all about for me, it's all about being able to visualize and know what I'm going to receive and expect to get myself ready for it and then meditate or visualize what my life would be like following the change. Because I've still got an element of time between now and when that change is going to kick in, because I'll know when I'm selling my car, I'll know if I leave my partner, I'm not but I'll know, it's something that I can plan and I'll know when something's gonna happen. When you experience unexpected changes, how do you cope with those? The answer is exactly the same way. Try and see yourself from a different perspective. Try and listen to yourself and to your heart as if it was one of your friends talking to you. And what would you say to them? What would your advice be? What would your offer be? And then take that advice, take that offer, because everything is just a series of, life is a series of rooms. We spend certain time in each room. We don't know how much we, how much time we're spending, but we know it's an element of time and it's short-lived. Everything, so we're dying from the day that we're born. Some of us have got longer to live than others. And when we look back at our life, are all the things that we're gonna do, you know, be really rash. Are we going to hop and change from what we're doing and lots of experiences? In which case, do we actually think about what we're doing before we do it? Or do we just do and act and be happy with the things that we're doing? Or do we take a few moments to actually explore what this change actually means? Whether or not the decision that we're choosing to make right now is going to be the right one for us now and in the future. Sometimes there are, are changes that need to be made that are better for the long term, but worse for the short term. And then that becomes a weighing up exercise. 
you mentally weigh up whether or not that's worth it for the whether or not the short term pain is worth the the long term benefit. That's something which is powerful, magical, and it's really soul searching. Something that is best done with a friend. Something that's best done as a conversation because you get the opportunity to bounce off other people. So if you have someone to talk to about a change that's coming up for you, that you know is a big change that you're going to look back on, on your deathbed and go, oh, I wish I had done that. Have a chat with your friend. See what comes up. If you don't have a friend, then you know what? I'll put my calendar link below. Let's grab a coffee. And let's see what we can do to help you with this decision that's coming up. My name's Vicky Paul. Thank you for tuning in.